Hey guys, and thanks for tuning back in to Karma Challenge. This here's Joe as always, and we're playing another episode of 60 Seconds. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start a new game, go to Classic, and I think we're going to do um, a survival run again. Just because uh, that way we can get a lot of materials just kind of right to begin with, we don't have to run around the house. Um, and we typically seem to last longer in that mode, uh, from what, uh, happened, uh, in the last episode, anyway. Looks like we got some water, we got some soup, we got ammo, we do not have a map. We have a radio, we have the suitcase, we have all of our family. We have some meds, a gas mask, the Boy Scout handbook, which is great, and flashlight. So we got a pretty decent amount of stuff. The only really thing that we need is the map. And, uh, I still haven't really run into the, that event where that's happened yet. Alright, so we've all made it. Everybody is okay. Nobody needs anything. And let's move on to the second day. I'm not going to be reading, um, a whole lot of these anymore. If it's something new, I'll read it. Um, other than that, I'm just going to kind of skip through and see what we can see. Apparently we don't have a gun either. I did miss that. We don't have a gun or an axe. It would be nice to have a gun. Uh, Alright, so the rodent stole uh, one of the suit cans because we couldn't kill it. Water is all Dolores wants. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Timmy wants water. Mary Jane wants water. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, give everybody water today. Just because we have a decent amount. Um, I am going to be more liberal about it uh, from now on. I don't know exactly what it takes to have Mary Jane mutate. I know that she can. I'm pretty sure that she has to be bitten by a radioactive cockroach. But uh, I've, I've just never had it happen. I don't know if it's only like a slight chance for it to happen or what. Uh, do, 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 do. Everybody is fine. Uh, but I would like that to happen. Okay, it's still bad out. Nobody can go exploring yet. Radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those uh, taxes to had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Uh, shall we head out to get them? Absolutely. Put that gas mask on and get that shit. And you broke the gas mask. But we got a lot of soup, and it looks like we got one or two more uh, water bottles as well. We went out to get the supplies, and our gas mask got a bit damaged. Note taken. Don't stand under a supply drop crate when it's falling out of the sky. Wow. Didn't think you needed to be told that. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. For a minute, we thought... It was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory is that the whole country used to run on tomatoes and no one suspected a thing. Plus two water, plus two soup. There isn't anything new with uh, anybody it looks like. So nobody needs anything. We're at full supply for food. Um, it's still quite a bit of contamination out there, so whatever. The problem is simple, if we don't wash ourselves we'll get sick, seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? I mean, I really don't want to waste the ammo to do that. I feel like you can just deal with a bad smell. But I don't want you to get fucking sick either, because by this game's logic you will. So go ahead and... Sprinkle the gunpowder on yourselves, I guess. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah, not really, but whatever. Okay, everybody wants water, but they don't need water, so I'm just going to be a little bit uh, stingy on that. Nobody can go outside, so we're not going to. Alright, 
it, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Mary Jane keeps fainting, so we will give her some water today. Timmy is very hungry. He needs water. Dolores has not eaten for a while. She needs water. Ted's stomach is rumbling. He needs water. Okay, everybody's gonna get water. And everybody's gonna eat except for Mary Jane. Because she did not bitch about food. Which is really surprising to me. Uh, it looks like the area is still irradiated. Or irradiated. Yep, you guys aren't getting it. We're not big fans of our uh, strange smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we prefer that nothing is on fire scent we had before. A fire. We need to put it out and save our supplies. We don't have time to save them all. What do we save? The fucking radio, because it's the most important thing. But I'm real upset about the Boy Scout menu and medicine being fucking burned up. That really pisses me off. We need our source of information. We went for the radio first and were able to grab it before it was engulfed by flames. Unfortunately, our other supplies weren't so lucky. We need to uh, evaluate our losses. Minus the Boy Scout manual, minus the uh, medical supplies. Mary's Jane's diet could use a little food. Yeah, figured that. Uh, Timmy's fine. Doris is fine. Ted is fine. Food for Mary Jane. Okay, nobody's going out. Uh, we keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker where we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the running part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Alright, so I'm going to assume that this game is taking place in like an alternate dimension where the Civil War did not go in our favor, and that um, Russia bombed us. We knew it, the government has not fallen, they're coming to save us, they didn't give us exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long, they said they will be in touch in a couple of days, and told us to await further instructions. It's a good thing we have the flashlight because uh, we're going to need that next, but we have to find a map. Life is hard for uh, all of us right now, but Dolores is in good mood. Alright, whatever. Nobody needs anything, so let's go on. State of the Wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Yeah, you're not going out. No one's yellowing here. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. It's only we had a chance. You do. Listen to the radio. Okay, good. Still not broken. That's great. Uh, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to uh, travel to the surface now. Everyone has to drink sometime. Alright, so Mary Jane's thirsty. Timmy's thirsty. Ted is thirsty. Dolores is thirsty. Alright, everybody get water. And I'm only doing this because I want somebody to go outside. And we don't have any of this, so you, you're not getting a gift, Timmy. Suck it up. Time to grow up, Timmy. This ain't Kansas anymore, and Santa doesn't exist. Alright, let's see. Everybody is fine. Mary Jane, you're going on an adventure. I'm not giving you shit. Mostly because I don't have anything to give you, but still. Uh, Timmy is fine. Dolores is fine. Ted is fine. So we'll keep on moving. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase. We are not opening that. The last two times I've opened it, someone got sick. I'm not doing it. Alright, somebody's out of shelter, apparently. We have no idea who left this, and nowadays you can't trust anybody. We're not risking our lives for some supplies. They could be poisoned. We threw the gift away and quickly forgot about it. Timmy is very hungry. He doesn't need much, but he should drink. 
Alright, so everybody's hungry and thirsty. Uh, we were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. Seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Could have gave it to him if we didn't use it to fucking as incense for the shelter. And I would have done it too. We could tell that the stranger was disappointed, but that was none of our business. If ever was a time to get used to life being disappointing, the end of the world's probably it. No news with Timmy. Uh, Dolores is fine. Ted is fine. Alright, Mary Jane should be back by tomorrow. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. Uh, we still haven't. But we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is, they're probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is, they are huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. Yeah, well, here's the thing about that. I have nothing to deal with that situation. Alright, Mary Jane, you need to fucking come back. Oh my, that thing is huge, and there goes another one. Roaches everywhere, we're doomed. We already feel dirty. Okay, everybody's fine. Mary Jane, seriously, come back today. You would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments when the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls. Not much is necessarily necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Great. Damn it, Mary Jane's dead. Fuck. There's nothing better than the quiet after the storm, or was it the other way around? Everybody wants a drink, I think? Or is it just Timmy and Dolores? No, they all want a drink. Oh, you're all skipping it today. Timmy's been sitting there just staring into his face. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. Yep, go ahead and talk to him. Yep, Mary Jane's definitely dead. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Uh, Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. Yeah, everybody wants water. I gotcha. Sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder pays us a visit. He offered us a simple one time deal for just one can of soup. We get the bag and all of its contents. We can't see what's inside the trader gives it. Alright, last time I couldn't make this deal, so I'm doing it purely just to see what we get. Hey, she came back and she brought Shawcroft. I, I thought you were dead. I legitimately thought you were dead. And you brought us some water. Either that or the trader gave us water. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching, hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. Uh, when the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Collar says Shockroth. Is that its name? Minus one soup. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Theater means actors, and where you find actors, you can easily run into mimes. And so we approached the theater on our tiptoes, but in the end, we decided our need for supplies was greater than our fear of mimes. So we bravely went in to explore. This must have been one boring play if the only props being used were bottles. The scene was practically filled with them. Thankfully, some had water in them, plus three water. We half expected the theater cafeteria to be a sorry state. Surprisingly, the atomic blast spared most of it, and we were able to admire their selection of foods. It was very vivid. Small, medium, or large cans of tomato soup. We felt large cans were meant for us. Plus two soup. Cool. Mary Jane is starving. We need to give her some food today or else. Mary Jane is really tired. Um, everybody else is fine. Mary Jane, you earn that soup. You eat it. Yep, definitely sending someone else out. Uh, today the music from the radio stopped abruptly. Instead, we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation. 
but it turns out there are there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're all alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. Son of a bitch. Every other time they've done the plane thing. And the one time I don't have the fucking map, they do the coordinates. Uh, we were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. Mary Jane's diet can use a little food. Uh, Timmy's fine. Dolores is hungry. Ted is fine. Dolores, you're not eating. Timmy, you can have food. Or, sorry, not Timmy. Mary Jane, you can have food. Alright, we're feeling pretty optimistic about today's ex uh, expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. Timmy, go have fun, buddy. Oh, apparently we got poison at some point. I don't know where that came from. Uh, while playing in the shelter, Shakroff stumbled upon a small wooden box that was hidden behind some loose bricks. It contained some useless memorabilia and a can of old bug spray. Mary Jane Diet could use a little food. Can we spare some water? Seriously, dude, she's eaten the last two days. Timmy went to the wasteland. Yeah, whatever. Uh, food for Dolores. Water for Dolores. Okay, food and water for you. Food and water for you. Food and water for you. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. That's what... And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get into our supplies. Well, I don't have a weapon, so hopefully Shakroff kills it. Oh, apparently not only did Shakroff not kill it, but Ted also somehow got sick. <sighs> that beast of a rodent won. It won and stole our food. Can or no can, at least we have each other, right? We're just worried it'll come back to finish what started. Minus one soup. Ted seems to have developed an allergy to our furry guest. He's been coughing and sneezing all night. We should try giving him some medication. How are you quite hungry? You've eaten the last three fucking days, Mary Jane. No, not getting water, just soup. I can't give you medicine, Ted, because I don't have any fucking medicine to give you because you made me get rid of it. We're closed off in a tiny shelter, and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know that there's a group of elderly people. Yeah, you know what? Go fucking rob them. I don't even care. Give a shit. Yeah, there's our blood print. And then this is for the double-tailed rat, I guess. We are now richer in some supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. Yeah, no kidding. You just stole food from elderly people. Let's just uh, never mention this whole thing again. Plus four soup. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Dolores is fine. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Yeah, if only I had medicine. Shakroff sure can take care of itself, but we can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat it is. It just so happens that we found an address on its collar, and it's unlikely that its owner is still alive, and a trip to the wasteland is always risky. Should we go outside and check the address? I mean, we've gotten two different scenarios both times, so yeah, go for it. I mean, Shakroff's always going to come back anyway. Hey look, Timmy's back. And tired of shit, apparently. Before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying that they've been looking for him for a while now. Supposedly, Shakroff belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. We shrugged and went back to our shelter. The cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get too attached to the last few days. Yeah, except for these guys don't own the cat. They su expect Shakarov to be a Russian spy, and they're supposedly like FBI or CIA men, and we're probably going to get bugged now when the cat comes back. 
We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. The proud uh, Elliston Hotel was completely destroyed. Piles and piles of luggage were laying between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms of on lower levels partially survived. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup! No wonder they were a five-star hotel. Yeah, that doesn't really add up, but okay. The lobby was mostly destroyed, and barely anything could be found on the floor. Except for one very hairy and very dead lumberjack. He had an axe in his hand. Cool. Okay, J uh, Timmy. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Mary Jane is rested. Timmy should eat something. Dolores has to drink sometime. Ted is really thirsty. Okay. Water for you, water for you, food for Timmy. Uh, and then Mary Jane is going to be going on an expedition. Uh, kill the cockroaches. Because Mary Jane has spent several days in here with them and has not mutated, so let's get rid of that. We really need to find some meds for um, Ted, because if Ted dies, we're all fucked. We have defeated the insidious roaches and driven them away. Their nests are ours. That should teach them a lesson. Minus one um, poison. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Oh, fuck you, Mary Jane. Timmy should eat something. Dolores is uh, quite well. Ted is pretty fatigued. Alright. Water. Are you bitching about food, too? No, alright. Water for you. Timmy should eat something. Food for Timmy. Mary Jane, you're leaving. <sighs> you know what? No. You, uh, you go empty-handed. Should I give her the suitcase? I wonder if she'll bring more stuff back if I do. Give her the suitcase and just nothing else. I doubt that'll make a difference, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, to our surprise, we found Shaq Ralph back in the shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why, or how, it came back, but is, uh, is it our good care it appreciates, our kind hearts, optimism, or just a stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. Mary and Jane went outside, let's hope she hurries back. We gave her a suitcase. Timmy should eat something, and drink, apparently. Dolores is hungry. Okay. Food, both. Go. About that. How about that trip to Nevada? We've been postponing for a while now. Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Going to a post-apocalyptic wasteland and to a desert. I don't really see how that that improves your chances, but all right. Uh, we can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. Okay. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing fine. Water is the for Dolores. And Ted wants both. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse. Using a pair of ro ah okay, it's the Mighty Python uh, reference. I don't have a map for you. I'm sorry. Although we tried to uh, decline politely, the guests were clearly offended. They galloped away, waving their wooden swords and screaming something about cutting down shrubberies. Absolutely crazy. Uh, Timmy is on his best behavior. Timmy and or Dolores is pretty fatigued. I don't know why, but okay. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. That's because I don't have meds to give to Ted. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Shaq Roth find a t uh, found a tired, tiny water fire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, uh, toppled off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take away the wire, or so maybe it's the best to leave it be, or should we examine the wire? We're gonna examine it so that we can hopefully do these, like, CIA, FBI missions. I heard the door open. Why is Mary Jane not back? 
We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back to our bunker. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Timmy is pretty fatigued. If there's anything to report about Dolores, she would have said something. Ted hasn't recovered yet. We are able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area. We don't have a fucking map, you assholes. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. Great. Mary Jane's dead. Fucking wonderful. And everybody's too tired to go scavenge, so now we're just fucked. We are sure we can find the location. We are wrong. Boris is thirsty. So is Ted. Great, because we're, we're almost completely out of water. So that's just perfect. Cool. Um... Despite his need for a nap, Ted could try his best on the sur first surface. No, Dolores is going to go out. The agents who are spying on us uh, are now at the door and want to explain the shelf. Should we hear them out? Yes. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us that they're on a top secret mi a government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government uh, safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They assure us that uh, they'll contact us again with more details. Timmy should eat something. Uh, today has been fine for Dolores thus far. There isn't much going on with Ted. Cool. Food for Timmy. Dolores, you're going outside. And since, uh, Mary Jane died, we'll give you something to defend yourself with. Great. His illness is getting worse, which means he's about ready to croak. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. We should give him some water. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Either get Ted medicine or we will never see him eat another can of soup. Hurry. I don't have meds. I, I, just, ugh, I don't have meds. Now, Timmy, you're going to wait on the water. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope that we it'll be over soon or else. We might not, we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. Yeah, well then Ted shouldn't have gotten sick, huh? Trying our best to remain calm, the situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope the that help comes soon. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Ted's stomach is rumbling. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Either get Ted medicine or never see him eat another can of soup. I think Timmy needed water, right? Yeah. One thing we didn't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clown in? Those clowns in, they might provide some uh, quality entertainment. You know what? We had nothing else going on. Yay! So we had those weird people over and they were more than kind. They gave us a first aid kit and we spent a lovely afternoon together dancing and singing. Then they left. Nothing to report on Timmy. Either we get medicine, uh, Ted medicine, or we'll never see him eat another can of soup. Hurry. There you go, medicine. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. 
We know that a teacher from the kid from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe and we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it, right? Yep. Go rob those children. Hey, you're not sick anymore. You look confused as hell, though. We had to do this for the family. Yep, we got water. And it had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? Soup, perhaps? Plus four water. Timmy is rested. Ted has recovered from his, Ill his sickness. Awesome and awesome. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect that there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Okay, use the flashlight. This is where you tell me that we had roaches, right? Obvious thing to do uh, to a, when a vent is blocked is to check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mut mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the in insects did some biting before they fled. During one of the insane episodes at around 3 a.m. last night, Shackruff ran face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall. Behind it was a cigar box with some ammunition inside. Thanks, whoever left it there. Plus one ammunition. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Ted doesn't drink anything. It won't last long. Ted was hurt. Fuck you, Ted! Uh, drink and drink. Dude, why are you such a pain in my ass? We would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments when the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls, not ne much is necessary for an explosion. It happened, we started fighting like crazy. There's only two of you. Okay, now there's three. And she brought the axe back and apparently she brought us water. And a map! Oh, thank God you brought the map. Hopefully we, we can make it out of this. Enough argument. There's more important things to uh, worry about. Enough arguing. Uh, we're glad to see Dolores came back. Okay, somebody might have followed us. Uh, we used to go to the waterfront before all of this happened. It was a great place to enjoy time with your family and watch ships, boats, and sailors. We're really excited to find one of our favorite yachts a few blocks away from our house. We found it a bit mysterious that it's now marooned in the middle of the crossroads, but there are plenty of reasonable explanations for that. Since the ocean is pretty salty, keeping a supply of drinkable water on board was a pretty reasonable precaution to take. Now it's reasonable for us to take it all with us, plus two water. One of the captains uh, was filled with map. One of the cabins was filled with maps, binoculars, and some technical gadgets. Most of them looked useless for our useless to us, uh, save for a map of the local area. It will definitely be useful. Plus one map. Timmy should eat something. Dolores would really love to eat. Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight. Don't care about your wounds, just don't die from them. You don't want food. You want food, and you want food. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents rang in with our next top secret mission that they will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go out on one successful expedition and write down uh, what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Cool. Send Timmy. Graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised that they would be back with more information soon. Uh, Dolores has not eaten for a while. Yes, she did. Is there anything that can be done about Ted's injuries? No, because I don't have meds because I just used it on there. A woman, um, ooh, 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 offers two water in exchange for one medicine. No, I want medicine. Woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel, provided that camels have five legs. The animal is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Offer one bottle of water in exchange for um, 
chessboard, offers four bottled water in exchange for a radio, offers two in exchange for meds, one offers one in exchange for ammo. I mean, I, I guess you can have the ammo. I need meds, though. Alright, we exchange goods. Dolores has not eaten. Yes, she has, but whatever. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, they both want both. There you go, you both got both. Able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all the survivors to head to a specific location in the area. Then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is that they provide... We have a map. Go. Go do it. You have a map. Go do it. And Timmy made it back. Good news for everybody. A uh, quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them with a message in a bottle. That recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey, even the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it out of there alive, but the agents seemed to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope their missions are actually worth it. Our bucket is just about due for an upgrade, and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent um, bathroom, maybe even a hot tub. Bunker is what that said, not bucket. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy got hurt. Fucking course he did. Today has been fine for uh, Dolores. Ted might have some nasty scars if those wounds ever heal. Don't care. Uh, Timmy was hungry, right? Yep. State of the Wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Yeah. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the Wasteland. Timmy's hurt. I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to send anyone out. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last long. Dude, you guys fight a lot. We stopped arguing for how long. It's high time we uh, did something about Timmy's injuries. Thoris is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine well in this uh, tiny shelter. Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight. I'm aware. No one's going out. Breakfast, we heard a knock on our door. It was a man with a rather exclusive number of arms excessive number of arms. He had told us his group was having a hard time finding supplies wherever they go. They got shot at first uh, sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. The friendly mutant uh, presented us with an offer in exchange for some supplies. His folks would uh, escort us to our next expedition and make sure we come back home safely. Yep, have some soup. Absolutely, we'll make that deal. Cool. Um, we'll get Timmy some water, Dolores some water. We'll give everybody water. Boom. Boom and boom. Uh, yep, somebody's going out. It's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they are... Yeah, I've read that before. Memories or not, we uh, need to keep our he heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. Uh, Alright, nobody, uh, nobody gives a shit. Nobody needs anything. Timmy is leaving. You don't need anything packed because the mutants are going to protect you. Yep, yep, yep. Ted might have some nasty scars if his most wounds ever heal. Yep, don't care. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours, none at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Um, I don't want you to play with the radio because we need that, so leave it the fuck alone. Great. Ted's sick. 
figured that was going to happen. Nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, uh, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. Doris has not eaten for a while. Alright, she's hungry and thirsty. Ted is hungry and thirsty. And he's infected. Clearly we're uh, trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came back with another request. We are uh, to generously provide either a couple soup cans or some water bottles for an agent in the field. They'll take care of the delivery in return. Um, we'll be giving an encouraging pat on the back and promise of a better future in a safe government shelter. How much water do I have? They want four water bottles. That leaves me with one and a half water bottles. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly wanting to do that. I don't think I'll ever be in a position where I can do that again, though. So I'm going to risk it. Now who's the fucking knocking? Graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised that they would be back with more information soon. If there was anything to report, she would have written it. Ted seems to be doing alright. Cool. A stranger uh, pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. Claimed he is a trader looking to borrow for items he requires. I don't have any of that stuff except for a flashlight, and I am not giving you the flashlight because I'm probably going to need that. And I'm guessing the yellow drawing on the wall, this one here, um, is for uh, the agents. And this is for finding the lumberjack. We refuse to trade. Hopefully uh, we've made the right choice, but the trader is not too happy about it. Ted is still sick, and Dolores is fine. Traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently business can do well after the end of the world. He offers one soup in exchange for playing cards. Um, I can't... I can't do any of that. Alright, achievement. Get what goes around. Oh, looks like we got lots of stuff. That salesman was very friendly, but he didn't have anything that was of interest to us. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he has come back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's uh, just hope this doesn't happen again. We went to we went on a trip to a more specific place this time, a local museum on Tranquility Lane. Uh, several rooms and a corridor, corridor? wall decorated with um, some charred paintings that survived the blast. The whole place doesn't even look that bad. It's almost like a modern art exhibit. In front of the museum canteens, we found a box with some water bottles in it. It was probably uh, left there by some delivery company. That delivery company is probably out of business now. Our guess is it was blown out of the market. Now you guys are hilarious. Plus two water. We uh, were hoping for some sweets or snacks, but all the museum museum canteen uh, had to offer us tomato soup, those poor poor tours, plus two soup can. Between the rubble we found a half-destroyed statue of a lady. She didn't have a lot of clothes on, save for a gas mask somebody put on her face. Uh, probably as a joke, we were hesitant to approach as the lady was dressed in modestly, but we saw she was holding an urn. As long as there's an urn, it's art, and that's okay to look at. Everyone knows that. Guessing this is because we sent Timmy. Uh, we got a gas mask for it. The gift shop was a uh, sorry state. While it's still standing, the whole place was flooded with souvenirs and junk, or both. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. The only useful thing uh, we found was a padlock that was securing the safe behind the counter. The safe itself was empty, of course. Cool, we got a lock and key. The half-ruined wall is all that's left of the main corridor. Some paintings are still hanging, but they're almost unrecognizable. At the end of the corridor, we found a museum guard uh, sitting on a chair, or at least something that used to be a museum guard. We found some ammo in his pocket, or at least something that used to be his pocket. Plus one ammo, the friendly mutant group lent us a hand as promised. We felt much safer with them around, and everybody made it back without a, without a scratch. We hope we'll get the chance to meet that group again. Timmy is tired um, and hungry. 
Doris is thirsty. Ted is thirsty. Boom. Boom and boom. I think said Ted and Timmy was hungry, right? Yep. Cool. Um, nobody's going out. I wasn't gonna send anybody anyway. Today during breakfast, we were all started. We all were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it anyway. In the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Absolutely. Sorry, I'm kind of like rush talking now. Um, this episode's going on a lot longer than I had planned it. And because of all the trouble of editing a, a video a couple of days ago with the video going too long, um, I, I just don't want this to go too long and not be and lose this footage. Today was terrifying. As soon as we cracked the safe open, the lights went out for a few seconds. We were left in complete darkness. When it was all over, we noticed that some of our supplies went missing. Damn that ghost! Minus one soup. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Something should have should be done about Ted's sickness. Uh, I've already forgot who needs what. Timmy is hungry. Dolores thirsty. Boom and boom. No one's going out. Couldn't get a clear signal from the radio until midday, but after we turned into a military broadcast, we were left speechless. Not only did they not deliver on the evacuation promise, they also ordered us to dispose of all firearms before the military arrives to save us. Who would ask such things of an American? Who? Well, I don't have a gun to get rid of, so we're all good there. Man, we're getting a lot of visitors in this episode. Since we didn't have a gun to begin with, soldiers wouldn't have any issues with us. Timmy is very hungry, of course he is, and he's thirsty. Dolores is rested. Ted might have some nasty scars if those wounds never heal. Whatever. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Um, let's go ahead, pack. Someone's at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open it? Fuck it, why not? Of course. Men in black. We were taken out of our home in the dark of night and hastily transported to what the agents called a presidential bunker. It's amazing! Sure, the walls are a similar shade of gray, but now we have a whooping 20 square feet more to walk around while we dive boredom. The extra bucket and newspaper supply is nothing to sneeze at either. All in all, it's definitely an upgrade. Life here will surely be worth all the trouble we went through. Finally, we can sit relax, and let somebody else empty the bucket for a change. That's, that's awesome! We Not only did we survive for 50 days, but we got an ending that I didn't even know was possible. I think that means we won, right? Because the agent saved us? You survived! Maybe. Cool! I mean... Mary Jane did die. But three of us survived? Fuck Mary Jane. <laughs> Not our fault she didn't come back, right? That's all I'm saying. Uh, but if you guys like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a good one. Bye!